Hello and welcome, fellow users of the internet. My name is Joel and you're watching Asphodel Merchants. Alright, it's number 6 of 8. I didn't actually open that Melican this thankfully. That's one of my many copies I now have. I guess it's going to be okay. More likely than not, that product's going to go up just a little. Not that product, that exact card. Okay, like I said... Oh, no. I destroyed it. It's a good thing... It's borderline useless outside of limited. What the heck? Ugh, I really ripped that one up. Alright. Decent chance these will never get played with anyway. Another green die. Looks like poop. Too bad I never use a D20 for anything. Tent District Hero. Cool card. Alright, you know what? I think we saved the last video we saved it for last. We're gonna find out. We're gonna get another Melek, I'm sure of it. We don't we we Okay. Alright, great. We finally got one whole Voja boy. Alright. And one of you gets this pre-release code. I don't need it. Okay, let's look. Let's hold. Okay, that's plenty. The code's over. The code's given away. And uh, once you cut your codes apart... You can turn them into some little spaceship fins. It needs cut on the other side. And just like that, you get some that thingy. It's paper flower. Yeah, I think I've got. Yeah, okay, I do have perfect. How am I talking worse? I did a video just a few minutes, just an hour ago. Whatever, but alright. Thank goodness we finally opened a Voja. Hopefully they've not cratered down to sub-10 bucks. Now, last time I looked, I think they were like $15 still. And Vojas are the whole reason I even bought this silly product. Well, these exact eights. I would have bought more MKM stuff anyway. It's not like I really wanted the card or anything. Just thought to myself, hmm. You know, if there's a 1 in 3 shot, which I don't think it's 1 in 3. I think it's a little worse. Thank you, Secret Rarity. Spiking a $15 card in your $20 pre-release kit. How could you lose? And I really haven't lost that much. Soul Search and um, Pyrotechnic Performer. Not um, not expensive by any means, but a really cool rare. Case of Locked Hot House, same story. Two really cool rares for whoever gets this limited pool. Have I explained anything about the Phantom Event at all? I don't think I have. So basically just the idea is I'm just going to look. I'm going to open all the packs and just put them back. And then we're going to play with them. But everybody has to give me the cards back. That way I can sell them. Shock. Man, some of my friends back in the day would like, Okay man, you can just give me the cards back after you play with them. And they'd open some super expensive cards. Shadow Backstreet, cool card, that's for sure. Ooh, and War Leader's Call. I think this is still 10 inch bucks. It's a really good pack. That's at least $14 right there, I think. Island. Okay, good start. That stuff in Voja, I think literally a War Leader's Call and a Voja together is like profit. Yeah, one of my friends, he'd open some sick rare and be like, uh, cool, Squash, can I just go ahead and buy my thing now? And I'm like, no, you most certainly cannot. I don't even know if I'm holding, I'm looking at the cards, not the pack again. Because I know, I'm supposed to look at the case of the filter out. Another magnetic snuffler. It feels like in every one of these, we've gotten at least one of the showcase snufflers. Deadly complication. Sanctuary wall. Hey, Cranko's Bud Crusher. Good old anti hexproof land and pioneer. Cerebral Constitution for a four. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I love the list now. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Ranger Captain of Eos is like $30. It's the most expensive rare on the list. Like, I think there's only three above $5, and this is one of them. Okay, so if I think if I had any losses across my other ones, somehow this one pre-release kit has now made up for it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it, then put it back in the wrapper. I'd like to watch any of them stop me. Didn't talk about gravy. It's just how crazy it's like. Do you have any idea how many times I've had to have a pool? And I ended up playing, making a fine deck and winning plenty of my matches, but just like straight up every rare was 50 cents or less. And hey, I, ooh, is the Pride of Hall call it another four bucks? But that is most certainly a uh, another mythic rare. V2 Gazi Inspector. But yeah, that might be another four bucks. That's cool. And then you have other pools like this where just like are almost like 60 freaking dollars. But then again, I've been lucky before. I think one of my LCI pre-release kits had Tishana's Tidebinder and Roaming Throne in it. So it was like almost a $50 pre-release kit. Bite Down, Public Thoroughfare, Reasonable Doubt, Rack Scandal, Murda, Lead Pipe, Tin Street Gossip, Slimy Dual Leech, Hey, Underground Mortuary. This is the second most expensive one behind Undercity Sewers. Wait, we... Wow, this is almost like a thirty or forty dollar one. No witnesses, worthless. Gadget technician, swamp spirit token. Man, underground mortuary. That's at least eight dollars. Okay, no lie. Yeah, this is at least actually if last try fight. Yeah, that's five. Hero thirty. Gosh, this pre-release kit's almost worth sixty freaking dollars. Wait, didn't I open a war leader's call too? This thing's cracked. Shock, Sanitation Automaton, Push Pull, Cool Card, Candlestick, Case of the Gateway Express, Glad I can find it. It was so funny. I had to buy all four of these for my Boros Standard deck because I swear, across like a Collector's Booster and three pre releases, I couldn't open one. World Souls Rage, Poop Soup, Chalk Outline, Cool Uncommon, Ooh, Stronger Captain. This is, a, this is at least a cool list card. I do like this. This card was the absolute. Slapper back in the ye old of 2014 in a forest. But okay. Yeah, that one's mega good. Vojo will be getting ready for the ye old of internet sale now. I'm gonna open another one of these. Maybe maybe here in a little while. Alright. Everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know the things you got to do to keep your friendly uh, neighborhood backcountry YouTubers going. Let's uh, keep going. I think I'm at a whole 78 subscribers. There's 22 more and I'll have 100. And just 900 more after that, they'll think about monetizing me. Whatever. But um, anyway, thank you all so much for your time again. Really do appreciate it. Goodbye.